Hey, hey, hey. It's that time, guys. It's time to read The Adventures of Mario. And um, today we're picking up with chapter 24. And if you remember, she was. They were going to throw the Autumn Fiesta. Basically, their anti talent show, like the anti establishment talent show. And Malu was trying to find some songs, and she had picked out a song from Lola Beltran. If you remember her, the lady that the CD she got from Senora Oralia. And she was trying to, you know, make it a little upbeat and punky. So we're going to pick up a chapter 24 here, and it says, starts off I hate this thing, I said yanking at the lock. By the time I had spun the dial left and right and left again for the third time, I decided that the combination lock was my sworn enemy. Step aside, Tonta, Joe said, moving in on my locker. What's your combination? I'm not telling you my combination, I said, even though I knew my chances of seeing my history book were fading. Suit yourself, he said. I tried my combination one more time and, unsuccessful, let the lock drop back against the locker with a loud clang. You given up on this yet? Joe asked. Fine, you try, I said. I dug out the slip of paper with my combo on it and handed it to him. I watched as he turned the dial left, right, left, then pulled. The lock clicked and opened. He turned to me, a satisfied look on his face. Well, aren't you special? A thank you will do, Joe said. Hey, did you think of a song? I did, I said, grabbing my history book from my locker and stuffing it into my backpack. And I'll tell you at practice when we're all together, I said. You're going to make me wait, dude. Something flew across the hallway and landed at our feet. It was a candy necklace, or what was left of it. There were a few candy beads hanging from the sad-looking elastic band. Score, Selena said as she and a guy from her candy crew walked up. Joe slapped the guy's hand and fist bump, then stretched, stretched the necklace between his fingers and pulled it back like a slingshot, aiming at Selena. Que pasa, lovebirds, she said, holding her bag up to shield herself from the candy necklace. That means, I know what that means, I said, cutting her off. Not funny. I couldn't be sure, Maria Luisa, she said. I know you have trouble with your Spanish sometimes. I slammed my locker door shut and snapped the lock closed. That's too bad you didn't make it into a talent show, she said. Yeah, too bad, Joe said. I gave him a look so he would zip his lips. See you later, I said to Joe, ignoring Selena and her friend. I hooked my arm through the straps of my backpack. I wanted to get out of there before Joe spilled the beans about our plan. Wait, Selena said. Don't you need to kiss goodbye or something? I felt my ears burn as I walked away. I, I'm going to pause for a second and say I'm impressed by her restraint because a lot of people would just bite into that. Selena! That afternoon, I had bigger things to worry about than Selena, like how to get ready for our talent show while avoiding Mom. She suddenly had a lot of thoughts about my daily visits to Joe's after school. You two sure are spending a lot of time together, Mom had said that morning when I told her I was going to Joe's later. We're working on a school project, I had said defensively. I thought you wanted me, be, me to make friends and be happy here. Pues, see, si. I'm glad you aren't holed up in your room all the time. Heading into Joe's basement, I felt like I'd slip past Mom's curiosity and questions one more time. But I knew each time could be the last. Joe, Benny, and Ellie sat in a half circle in, in a half circle in the basement, both looking both excited and nervous. So what's your great idea, Joe asked. You guys promise not to laugh? We can't promise anything, Joe said. Benny fiddled with his bass, and Ellie pretended to take notes to avoid eye contact with me. This. I placed the Lola B CD on the floor in the middle of the circle. What are we going to do with that? Joe asked. We're going to do a punk version of one of these songs, I said. Chilita Lindo. Are you telling us you want to sing a punked up version of a Lola Beltran song? Benny asked, like maybe his hearing had failed him. Yeah, I nodded, but my brain started to panic. What seemed like a great idea earlier suddenly felt like a sure disaster. Joe stared at the cover. The big bouffant, the chandelier earrings, the pointy nails, those long fingers. It felt like the seconds were dragging. Never mind, I said, grabbing the CD. We can come up with something else. No, wait. I can see it, Joe said. But maybe the, maybe the band should take a vote. Yeah, okay, I said. Are there any objections? Joe asked and looked to each of us. Not for me, Benny said. This is more my style anyway. Yeah, who knew your trumpet playing skills would come in handy, right, Ben? Joe said and laughed. Can I listen to it first? Ellie asked. Joe queued up the song, and we all watched Ellie as she closed her eyes and listened. Everyone at Posada Middle School took Spanish, but Ellie wasn't a native speaker, so I wondered how much she understood. Ellie kept a stone face the whole time, and it was hard to read her. I caught some of the words she said when the song finished, but what's it about? 
Ellie listened intently while Joe translated the lyrics as best as he could. Then we all watched as a big grin spread, ac spread across his face. This is the song, she said. It's beautiful and powerful, and I dare Principal Rivera to object. Let's do it. That was easy, Joe said. And now you can prove to Selena once and for all that you aren't a coconut. I kicked him in the shin. Ow, come on, I was just joking, he said, rubbing his leg. But seriously, and don't take this the wrong way. Can you even sing in Spanish? Don't listen to him, Malu, Ellie said. You're super determined. You convinced me, someone who couldn't even play an instrument, to join the band. I'm pretty sure you can do anything. Thanks, Ellie, I said, and gave her a smile. You believe that I could play the drums, Ellie continued. Well, I think you can sing in Spanish. Could I sing in Spanish? Joe's question played in my mind on repeat as I walked home. It was really cool the way Ellie had come to my defense, but I wasn't so sure I believed in me as much as she believed in me. Having to sing in Spanish was kind of a big de detail to overlook. It was one thing to say hola, and another thing to sing an entire song. I thought about what Signora Oralia had said about singing along to the Beatles songs, even though she couldn't speak English. If she could do that, maybe I could sing in Spanish. Yes, I told myself as I arranged the worry dolls under my pillow that night, I could sing in Spanish. But as I looked into their little dotted faces, doubt crept over me again like a cold fog. Could I? Then it appears that she's made a zine, and it says, music. Music is magic, cool, smart, dynamic, inspiration, my muse. A muse is something that inspires you. Six reasons why I heart music. It's like a language. Sometimes I have a feeling, but words aren't enough. Like when you feel like the tinkling wind chimes at the beginning of a song, like the squeaking sound when fingers move across guitar strings. Do you know those feelings too? I do. You guys know music's my thing in the world. Like a good book, like a good book, a good song takes me places. My mind gets lost in the sounds and words. It helps me feel connected to people, especially to my dad. When I sing, I feel strong and sure, like I am in control of something, like I am creating something. I don't even know if I can. I don't know if I even can sing in Espanol, but when I heard Chileto Lindo, Pretty Little Sky, I knew it was my song to sing. Sure, it's a little lovey and sappy, but it, exp it expresses how music makes me feel most of all. Happy. The lyrics say, A, 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 sing and don't cry, because hearts become happy by singing, except it's in Spanish, of course. Singing and listening to music makes my heart happy and hopeful. Lately, music has made me feel more connected to the Mexican part of me. I don't know if it's from listening to Lola B so much or from learning about Mexican punk from Mrs. H, but it's kind of cool. And the back says, is my jam, because the front says music. You know, I mean, I like this book because it's about music, and I've always enjoyed music, um, even from when I was a kid. But music isn't the only thing that can make people feel that way. If you, if you don't feel that connected to music, like Malu does, or even I do, maybe there's something else that you feel connected to that makes you feel inspired, makes you feel, um, you know, it makes you feel like you want to create something, or, you know, make something like what you enjoy. You know, a lot. Of, I know. I see a lot of you get into. Um, anime, My Hero Academia, you make your profile pictures that, you know, that's something that could be inspired. That's a passion you have. You love, the good, you love a good anime. Um, inspires you to draw, inspires you to write. Video games might have that effect. Um, movies, the world around you can inspire you to write poetry. There's a lot to inspire you, like music does Malu there. Um, so don't just think that because I'm reading this, I'm saying music is the only thing in the world that makes you feel that way. Because there's a whole, whole lot of, of subjects that make you feel that way, that can inspire you. All right.